In this video, I'm going to talk about identifying a pattern. Okay, so this is a geometry type of uh, type of video where we're going to use inductive reasoning to figure out the next logical um, either number or word or shape in the pattern. Okay, if you don't know what inductive reasoning is, I, I like to say that inductive reasoning is using reason, using reason and logic to figure out what the next uh, item in the sequence is based on your prior experience. So this is this is uh, logic is reasoning based on experience is basically what I like to term this as, as opposed to deductive reasoning, which is logic and reasoning based on rules, regulations, and properties, which is a little bit different. Okay, so we're going to use inductive reasoning, okay, using um, prior experience to figure out uh, what the next uh, either word, number, or pattern or or shape is going to be in the series. Okay, so identifying a pattern. Find the next item in each pattern. So as I read this pattern, as I look at this first example, I see January, March, May. Hmm. It looks like I'm talking about months of the year, so January, March, and then May. Now, it might be a little bit easier if you actually go through all the months. So when, whenever I try to figure out the, the next, next month in the series, I always have to name them starting from January. So I go January, February, March, April, May. So notice what kind of happens here. January, February is not here. January, February, March. Okay, there we got March. March, April, which is not there. And then May. So it looks like what's happening after going through it, it looks like that we're skipping a couple of months. January, February, March. April, May, and then with that, we're going to find the next one in the series. So here we go. January, February, March, April. Notice I keep going up for the ones that, that, uh, that are not there. So anyway, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July is the next, next logical one in this series. Now, notice I use experience. I know what the months of the year are. Okay, And I, and I went through logically which ones are which ones are here and which ones are not here to figure out that July is going to be the next one. So again, January, February, March, April, May, June is not here, and then July is going to be the next item in this pattern. Okay, so that's using, that's, that's with words, that's with uh, months of the year. So what's this next one here? Okay, so looking at these numbers. Numbers are great. 7, 14, 21, 28. Very, very quickly, I can figure out, well, these numbers are just going up by 7s each time. This is 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4. The next one is going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. Okay, but looking at those, I had to have the prior experience of actually multiplying the numbers out. 7 times 1. 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4. There was no rule that told me what the next one was going to be. I had to look at all these numbers to figure out what the next one was going to be. Okay, So I had to use my experience of looking at these numbers to figure out what the next one is. That's one way you can conclude that this is inductive reasoning. Okay, and last but not least, we have this pattern down here. It looks like triangles. Okay, these look like uh, isosceles triangles. These look like ice cream cones, isosceles triangles. Okay, it looks like uh, it looks like it's pointing up. And as I look to the next one, it looks like it's pointing to the left. Okay, the top looks like it lopped over to the left side. And as I look to this one over here, now it looks like it's pointing down. So now there's a pattern that starts to emerge here. What's the next one going to look like? So the point is up. The point is left, the point is down, the next one tells me that I go from up, then to the left, and then down, and then it looks like this shape keeps rotating counterclockwise 90 degrees each time. Okay, so it's going to go up, it's going to go left, it's going to go down, and then it's going to go to the right. Okay, now, I won't go any, with any fancy colors or borders with that or anything like that. That is that, but that will be the next shape in the pattern. And notice that when I made this shape, I made it obscenely long on this side to make sure that I know that the isosceles triangle was pointing to the right side. So notice we're pointing up, pointing left, pointing down, and then pointing to the right. Notice that we keep rotating counterclockwise 90 degrees each time. Okay, so that is identifying the pattern. Uh, there's many, many patterns that you can see in everyday life. You can see with numbers, you can see with words. Um, but all of this uses a form of reasoning, what we call inductive reasoning, uh, using logic and reasoning, using your thinking skills, not just necessarily solving equations or any of that kind of skills, but using your thinking skills, using your brain to figure out uh, what the next word or the next number or the next shape is going to be. Okay, that is identifying a pattern. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful.